Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome back to Video Pro Guide Tutorial. In this series, we will walk you through how to create stunning video with Video Pro Vlogger. But before we dive into the journey, make sure to check out the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get the video started. As we edit videos, we might often run into such scenarios that when finishing the first row of cut or the whole editing, we come to find that we might need to readjust the sequence of the clips or insert another footage into the video. This will certainly bring inconvenience to your project. But with the learning and editing ability in VideoProc, you can have full control of the media files on the timeline and rearrange the sequence of the footage at your wheels. First, double-click to launch your software. Click here to create a new sequence. And click here to import the material related. When finishing the whole edit and finally you need to readjust the order of certain clips, don't worry. All you need to do is to select a clip with the left mouse button, drag it to the position you desire. The auto adsorption feature in VideoProc helps ensure the length of the video remains consistent when you rearrange the order of the clips. This could make it more efficient and secure in the later editing work. Well, what if you want the elements that you have created on the image, like a piece of text or special effect, to move along as a quick play forward? It is indeed time consuming to move them each by each, and might lead to the fail of clips being fully aligned with the elements due to the misoperation. With VideoProc, you only need to hold the control key and use the left mouse button to select a video, image, special effect, audio, or the text that you are going to move, and release control key. Then, drag them to the position you desire, like what we did before. If you have a large number of materials, you could click on the yellow plus icon here to add more tracks. Whether it is a video track, a factor track, audio track, or subtitle track, you can insert them through this way. You can also click on the big plus button down here and select the track you wish to add or delete an unused track to have your interface clean and lead. There are some other tips you could work with here. You might run into a relatively long material, which might make it a little difficult to move the material. To address that, right-click the clip and select Move Forward will move backward. Through this way, you can quickly achieve the effect of moving the material back or forth. Another tip here is if you want to play the clip that you have added along, instead of removing the elements of special effect, audio or the text, you simply need to right-click the clip and select a play clip. Then, you can preview the clip separately in the preview window. The same effect could be achieved through double-clicking on the clip with the left click. Besides, this method works also for the audio clip as well. As you finish all the edits, don't forget to hit apply. 
All right, now you have reached the end of today's video about how to readjust the clip sequence in VideoPro Vlogger. I think I've got it. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe our channel if you haven't yet. We'll see you soon in our last guide tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.